trust your first impression. What do you imagine is there? I see many birds. I see many birds. Very good. <coughs> White me. birds. White birds. How big are these birds? They are normal mm. size. Mm -hmm. Where are you seeing them from? From the floor. Mm -hmm. From the floor, are you looking up at the birds? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm in the middle of the forest. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Describe everything around the forest. It's um, fall. Mm -hmm. The leaves are becoming yellow. There's rocks around. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you have a body in this place? I'm adjusting. Mm -hmm. Very good. I can feel I'm moving. I feel I'm connected with the forest. Mm -hmm. Let's find out how you're connected to the forest. What do you look like? I am wind. Mm -hmm. I can move around. I can see everything. Tell me what you see and what you experience as wind. I can feel the vibration. I can see the animals. What do you do as wind? I move things around. Mm -hmm. So in this forest today, what role are you playing? What are you doing for the forest? I'm moving the leaves. For what purpose? To maintain balance. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. I have to clean. You clean the leaves? I need to clean certain areas for the balance of the area. Mm -hmm. To move food around to the insects. Mm -hmm. I also check on the birds. My job is to maintain balance. Mm -hmm. I'm a spirit of balance. You're a spirit of balance. How big of an area do you work on at one time? It depends. Well, I can be everywhere and I can be in one place. Mm -hmm. So today, where are you? I'm here and there. Mm -hmm. I'm in the forest. Beautiful, beautiful place. The you... trees are big. Mm -hmm. There's water around. I can feel the fish. How do you communicate with them? I just feel it. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything. I can they... feel the trees. They speak to me. What do they tell you? They are happy I'm back. Where did you go? I had to go. I had a calling. Mm -hmm. I was called. Tell yeah. me about this calling. What happened? Let's go back and see what happened while you were called. I was working in the forest. And then I was called. Who called you? I don't know. What did you do? Where did you go? I can feel pain. I can feel pain. In what way? I'm leaving. I was at peace there. Whose pain are you feeling? Mine. I want to be there. I don't want to go. 
but they call me. Mm -hmm. I have work to do, I have healing to do. So take me with you. Tell me where you go. It's painful leaving, but my work is done there. Mm -hmm. When can you speak louder so I can hear you? Where are you going to next? I have to go to another planet. Mm -hmm. I'm a spirit, I'm a healer. I create balance. I bring harmony. What planet were you just on? It's far away. Mm -hmm. But they're similar to this planet. Mm -hmm. So who called you? The spirits. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happens next. I'm leaving the planet. And it's cold. Because I have to go into the space. Mm -hmm. What do you see? Home. Calm. Home. A I home. see home. You see home. Home is everywhere. Mm -hmm. When I go inside of each planet, it's not home. You're there for just a job to do. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm like a gardener. My job is to maintain balance. So where do you go to now? I have to another starting planet. It's rocks. Mm -hmm. It started. My job is after the formation of fire and earth and stones coming together, the spirits coming together. It's when the magma cools off, mm -hmm. I bring green. I am green. That's why you call yourself the gardener? Yes. Mm -hmm. How do you bring this green to a planet? I just feel it. It's love. It's healing energy. The green brings oxygen, brings water, brings abundance. Green brings life, healing. After the stones and fire come together, two elements and thunder electricity it needs a, to heal because it's in pain it's sensitive like our body mm -hmm. after that it needs cooling so i bring the cooling that's the job i do everywhere i go do you go in as a team in every planet that's forming i have to work with everyone mm -hmm. So when they call you to take care of a new planet, are all of the others have already done their job? Mm, or are they still there? They're still there. Mm -hmm. They can't leave just yet. Tell me the process. The process for each planet, it's the inspiration, the divine inspiration. It's the beginning of the school. First, the inspiration brings together certain elements. Certain cells come together. They create the magnetic field. And then stones and minerals, special ones that no one knows yet in this earth, comes together to create electricity in a very simple way. After Collision needs to happen, pain needs to happen. So there will be a lot of uh, coming together. And then they will be reshaping constantly, there's reshaping from others. They will be adjusting, there's a lot of beings constantly working to reshape. 
shape into a form of zero, of circle, because it means one. So all planets are circles? Everything in the universe is circles. Mm -hmm. It's like a small cell. Mm -hmm. It all has a curve, a curve, curve, vicious shape. Mm -hmm. It starts with that because it means love. Mm. So there are no planets that are flat? No, that doesn't exist. So what happens afterwards? Each rock means beings that didn't learn a lesson. They are small fragments from explosions of other places. And they come together to meet together to start. They start the job. They start coming together. Then their consciousness merge. It becomes one becomes one spirit, like this planet. Mm -hmm. So it's a live being? Yes, it becomes alive. Mm -hmm. When everyone works together, they become one consciousness. They become connected. They understand why they are there. So why is Gaia here? Guy is here to shine, to send a message of wisdom into the universe that it's possible. Guy is here to show love. It will shine. Very, it's already shining. Mm -hmm. It's already shining. It's already becoming brighter. Tell me more about all of this. How are you involved? My job is to adjust. <coughs> My job is to adjust and to adjust everyone. I bring adjustment at the moment. Again, balance. I bring the gift of peace. In this planet, my job is different. Aside from healing, I need to maintain balance peace in people's hearts. How do you do that? At night, when I sleep, I left, leave my body and I work with the angels and I work with other beings, beings of light. We are all beings of light, all. We have to help consciousness to rise. Love peace, light. Love doesn't mean love outside of the body. It's only the way we relate to it. It means energy. It means respect. When you respect one another in a pure way, in a kind gesture, you create a link. You're free. When you love somebody else, or respect someone, yes. what kind of link is created <coughs> on a spiritual way? It's a golden link. Mm -hmm. It's like a web. When you work like a friend, and you're enjoying that kind of link, but it's different. It's energy connecting energy. Mm -hmm. I'm connected to all. I can feel everyone. But at times it's painful because too much desire for things. And it hurts me. And I need to heal also. Tell me about this pain that you're feeling about desire. Because when everyone starts thinking too much on getting things, it hurts me because I'm open mm -hmm. and it hurts inside of my heart because I just want them to see. But I need to heal 
and then I become at peace. Mm -hmm. Now you have worked on many different planets mm. as wind. Why did you choose planet Earth? I was called. Mm -hmm. Who called you? God. Mm -hmm. And in what manner did you feel the calling? It's a thought. Mm -hmm. I moved around. I'm a f I am here to serve. But I enjoy doing it. I enjoy this work because it gives me pleasure. In the beginning it's painful, mm -hmm. but once people see, when pe once people know, they enjoy, and then I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. When people are around me, they can feel their problems goes away. So you're here really to balance. Yes. Mm -hmm. And heal. And heal. And why is it that this has to be done all around the world? Because right now there's too much ancient energy trapped. Mm -hmm. There's too much chemicals. There's too much pollution. There's too much. Sadness, mm -hmm. pain, unfairness, it's all illusion. And people get cold inside, mm -hmm. they block their body from the light. So what is Edward doing now to unblock that light? He's constantly working through creativity. Mm -hmm. When he works with passion, he's also working on a bigger scale with everyone. How does that work? Because he connects with everyone's heart. Mm. He's connected to everyone. Is connected through the brain, through the chakras, and through the earth. Because it's um, it's almost like the nervous system is expanded on his body invisibly to everyone. Mm. Like there's a link, small tiny thread. And that's why he can feel everything in his heart. Mm -hmm. It's love. That's why he connects. And his job is to bring passion back into everyone's heart, to fuel that light again, to make them remember in a kind way. Is that why he's going to some of these places where there are so many rude people? Yes. Mm -hmm. He needs to learn to adapt and respect them too. Mm -hmm. Because he once was like that. In, in which lifetime? In the beginning. Mm -hmm. In this lifetime? Or when he was first created as a soul? When he was first created. Mm -hmm. He's told me that he has seen many different dreams where he has been almost like a superhero in it. Past lives. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about those? Why have you shown him some of these lives? Because he wanted it. He wanted to be free. Mm -hmm. He wants to be free all the time. He wants to go back home. But he has work to do. Is this his first lifetime here? No. No. What has he done on this earth before? He's on earth many times. Mm -hmm. More than 1,000 times. More than 1,000. Has he been doing the same thing in each lifetime? No. He created karma. 
Mm. He forgot his way. Because he once lost someone he cared, another illusion. Mm -hmm. But he had to go through this to learn humankind. Mm -hmm. He had to go through this, he agreed to this. What is his home place? Does he have one? Yes. Where is this place? In the central sun. Can you tell me about the central sun? It's a beautiful place. Can you describe it for me? Everything sings love. The water, the sky is pink. Hmm. The buildings are made of thoughts, but they exist hmm. like glass. Technology exists not with things, exists organically. Mm -hmm. And then at the center, the light. It's beautiful. Are there bodies in that central sun? Yes. What kind of bodies? Light are, beings. Light beings. But it's uh, golden, yellow, white. It's a mix. They evolved. Mm -hmm. They are the number ones. So who are the beings that come from the central sun? Who are the evolved ones? You say that Edward came mm. from there? Yes. He was one of the evolved ones? No. No? No. Tell me about that. Edward lives there, but mm. he's not from there. Okay. Can you explain more? Who are these beings from the central sun? They are the highest. They are the highest of all lights. Edward is there to learn to connect and he's uh, but there's a war there's a war tell me about this war he had to leave because there was a war coming mm -hmm. into this place into which place to heaven. To earth? Into heaven. Into heaven. A war into heaven? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why he had to come here. Tell me about this war. Who's fighting this war? The angels. Mm. And the stars and galaxies. Who were the angels warring with? Darkness. Evil beings that are affecting balance. Mm -hmm. They're affecting me. How is the war going? Not easy. Not no. easy? No. Not easy, but this is a help. There's help. Where does this help come from? From prayers, mm. from believing, but it's painful at times. But I know everything is going to be okay mm -hmm. because it has been decided. So he decided. Who is he? The light of light, mm -hmm. the eternal being. So, are they fighting this war, even though it's been decided to win, for a certain reason? Yes, what evolution. Is, what is, who is evolving? Especially the ones that are fighting, mm -hmm. because they need to lose the fear. They're fighting their own mind. Mm -hmm. Is this the dark, dark ones, or the light ones? Who needs to lose the fear? 
There's no darkness, there's no light, it's all in the mind. Uh -huh. It's all in the mind. So this war is really a war in the mind? How is that? No, the war is real. Okay. When I call upon the archangels, for example, mm. to help me with those that are not willing to depart from this earth, mm. are these beings from this from the central sun? Yes, mm -hmm. they can cross dimensions. They can. Yes, but it's a different war there. Tell me about that one. The war there has to do with energy. Hmm. Here, the war has to do with power. Okay. Here has to do with control. This is the lesson to be overcome. There. It's energy, but it's misunderstandings. What kind of energy are we talking about? Supreme. Mm. The f life force. The life force that sustains everything. So are they trying to destroy this? No, they're trying to control. Mm. But they can't. You can't control what's bigger than you. Mm -hmm. But it's incredible the kindness of this being. Even when they're trying to hurt this being is kind. And they're still being kind. Because in the presence of love, nothing lives except love. Mm -hmm. Everything becomes peaceful. So is that a lesson for us to learn that even when someone is trying to hurt us, that we can fight them with love, in a way, using love? You can never fight in the presence of love. Mm. You are love. You just accept what you cannot change. Mm. Love never dies because is. I just need to connect to it all the time. Mm -hmm. It's there. Each breath you take. Each breath should be love. Is love. Is love. Because you inhale light, you inhale love. Otherwise you wouldn't exist. Mm. It goes into the cells, that's the only way you have a body. It's the only way everything comes together. If it wasn't for love, you know, we wouldn't exist. That's what brings us together. That's what makes the fight sometimes. Mm -hmm. That causes, not f makes, causes, misunderstandings. Mm -hmm. So what, what does Edward need to know today about this energy of love? He's only curious. Mm -hmm. He wants to know more and more and more, but he already knows it. He seems to be an encyclopedia of information. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because he's been here many times. So he's remembering a lot of this too. He needs to share it. How does he need to share this? The time is coming. Mm -hmm. But he shares already when he works with everyone. Mm -hmm. He has his particular ways to deal with people in a kind way. He wants to bring knowledge and ancient knowledge back again. Will he be able to do that? Yes, later. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Not People yet. are not ready. 
It seems that people are waking up, though. Yes. Mm -hmm. But people are still being cautious. Mm -hmm. What's causing that for them to not open up completely? Adjustments. People need to clear their bodies. Everything you need to know, you already know. Everyone is the same. Everyone is the same, but you need someone to trigger that. And you need to be careful with the body. You need to care for your body in a positive way. Now, I know that Edward has been changing his diet recently. Can you tell me what the best diet is for him? We are already helping. Mm -hmm. I am already helping him. He doesn't want to do certain things. But it's time. We need to adjust him. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he will not be able. He won't be able to adjust to the level of energy that is coming. Hmm. How is this adjustment helping him with the energy? Oh, he will enjoy it. Yeah. He tells yeah. me he's he's eating a lot of green now. He needs to heal his body from the toxins mm -hmm. and he smoked for many years. I need to clear his body. He needs to be fast. Mm-hmm. So you're doing a fast healing on him? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's why he's worried about... He's worried about small things. He's worried about getting sick, when he will never get sick. His sickness is due to his own thoughts. Mm -hmm. I need to prepare him. How will you prepare him? First, the body. Mm -hmm. I need to adjust him. Already started. He was asking about fasting. He needs to do that. How often does he need to fast? Three days. Three days? With water. Mm -hmm. And then when he starts, he needs to go slowly. He cannot eat the sugars because his family has problems with sugar mm -hmm. intakes and he cannot eat spicy not good for the element of fire inside of his body mm -hmm. because he's sensitive he can feel so he needs to constantly maintain balance within his body mm -hmm. otherwise there will be consequences and he knows it mm -hmm. He knows everything about his body. He can sense it, he can feel the organs. And he can feel other people's organs. Does that help him help other people? Yes, because he's like a washing machine when ah. he's around other people. Ah. That's why he gets sick. But if he wants, he can heal fast. He just needs to continue to do what he's doing. So he's actually picking up energy from people and cleaning it? Yes. Getting them back into balance? Yes. But he's got to get rid of his old yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. Because now it's stronger it's, and it's going to become even stronger. So how can we avoid these major sicknesses in the future? Disease will always be because it's part of the mind. Only when you evolved and you would get to a certain level, then it's no longer. But it's there to teach a lesson. Always. Okay. But if you want things to go away faster, it's so simple. How do we do that? You just have to pay attention to what you eat. You can avoid many things. Yoga is back. It can help heal faster and adjust your body. Adjust your chakras and you'll live much better. That's what 
people need to learn and relearn again. Mm-hmm. How to how to align their chakras and eat better? Yeah, and align the body with the planet. Hmm. How do we do that? Simple. Align yourself always with north, south, east, and west. When you're doing meditation, face the east always. Edward is also learning that, relearning what he already knows. And what does going towards the east, facing the east, do? It's the beginning of the sun. Okay. And it also it's our body. All our meridians is connected to it. You see, the bo- the planet is like us. We're just a small fraction of the planet. Your body has the same meridians as the planet. Hmm. It's the same. It's all the same. So we just have to become one. Yes. With the Earth. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then when we align with and, and do our meditations towards the east, what do we have to do next to align? Anything? Does it happen sports. Naturally? People need to do sports. More sports? Yes. More activities? Yes. Mm-hmm. And Anytime? eat less. Okay. People should not be eating so much. There's no need. We have been designed, the body has been designed not to eat so much, Mm -hmm. but to be more active and to meditate. Can exercise be a form of meditation? At times, yes. Mm -hmm. But any type of sport is good. It depends. Some sports are not helpful. Okay. What's one of them that you would say would be a very good one? One where you can move your body. Mm -hmm. One where you can run, take a lot of oxygen in. Mm -hmm. We need oxygen. We need a lot of oxygen because every time you Mm -hmm. inhale air, you inhale love. Mm But the planet has a lot of pollution, so you need to clear. It's possible. The food you take, the water. Run is good. Sports where you have activities with other people is good also, because when you connect in sports makes you happy, Mm -hmm. makes you part of the team, makes you know we're together. Mm Even if it's competition? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes competition is good because it brings evolution and it and it opens your brain. Mm -hmm. It's almost uh, like the ancient instinct for survival. It illuminates your brain. Mm -hmm. It's simple actually. So we need more of that. We need more of that. Mm-hmm. Because people became too quiet. People are living out of um, mirrors. Hmm. Just to look good, but inside they're not okay. Well, there's some cultures where a lot of them are very calm and they just sit in meditation. Mm. What do you think about that? That's just a different level. Okay. They are in that position because they believe that's the right thing for them. And if that's how they feel, then it must be right. Okay. But for us, we need to move more. Yes. Mm -hmm. But some beings are here to evolve even further. Sometimes they need to meditate for a long period. Mm -hmm. They are being tested. But a lot of people sit down and they don't know how to meditate. What's the best way to meditate? (laughs) You have been told so many times. (laughs) But not everybody is listening. You have to sit down in a simple, simple way. Maintain your straight back. Our back is straight. 
You can place your hands on your legs in a simple way. You don't need to do mudras. And just breathe naturally. And just bring your attention to your breathing. And do this 12 times. And then just relax. Bring your attention to your heart. And let it listen to it. Bring your attention to your third eye in the middle of your forehead or in between your eyebrows, depends on the person. And you will see a spark of light becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. And then you will see like a rainbow and then the white yellow light. You do this every day, at least once. And you start the evolution within you. Very good. What else does Edward need to do to evolve on this planet, to do his job? He needs to lose the fear. Mm -hmm. He's afraid. What is he afraid of? Of becoming darkness. Mm -hmm. Because he can feel everyone. And he sees a lot of it in others. But he has so much love around him too. His family loves him. The angels are around him also to protect him. Mm -hmm. He's is, being taken care of. Who does he work with? What angels in particular does he work with? Your team. Yeah. They are here, he mm -hmm. told you. Yes. God, God is always with him. God sees him. Jesus, also with him. Ancient beings from other planets, also with him. And And the sun, the sun is with him. Is this the sun that we know? Yes, the mm -hmm. sun that you see every day in the sky. Tell me more about the sun. You've told me about Gaia, which is a living being, but I don't hear much about the sun. The sun is a living, it's a living consciousness mm -hmm. of evolved beings. It's all beings evolved. It's a connector to the central sun, but it doesn't shine bright as much as it used to. Why is that? Because there's um, too much darkness on this side. Hmm. This um, end side, it's uh, the outskirts of uh, the whole territory, even though it's infinite. That's why it's a lower level, this side, this planet. Mm -hmm. But is, the is, sun, it's an indication of evolution. Okay. Is there some sort of energy that's being emitted from the sun besides just warmth? Yes. Can you tell me about that? Consciousness, hmm. wisdom, life, love. That's why without the warmth of the sun, which means the vibration of love. We would not exist. No one would exist. Mm -hmm. 
is that why there are certain certain forces trying to block out the sun from us? They can't. It's divine being. Mm -hmm. You can never play with the sun. Well, there seems to be a lot of chemicals in the air. Yes. Nowadays, it seems to be blocking a lot of the sunshine. Mm. Is that affecting us at all? That will fall. It will. There's certain elements in place to destroy it. Mm. Everything moves, nothing remains. Okay. Will our skies be healed again of the toxins? Before the final phase. Mm -hmm. All planets, before they go into self-destruction, they have to heal, so they can be transmuted. Mm -hmm. Is this what is that happening to our planet? Mm. There's many destinies to this planet. Mm -hmm. Edward had a question about that. What's going to happen to this planet between 2018 and 2022? Who knows? <laughs> It's transformational in terms of thoughts, energy. Um, he was afraid that there would be another war. Mm -hmm. but there's no war. The war is every day. The big war for self-destruction cannot happen, will not happen, because other beings already stopped it. I see. Where are these beings? Here, they haven't left. Hmm. I've heard that there's a lot of extraterrestrials in our skies. Are they avoiding? Are they helping us avoid some of this stuff going on? Some, yes. Mm -hmm. But some are not. Yes. So, is there a war in our skies too? Not here, not in a way that you can see. Okay. But they can't come down while I'm alive. Why is that? The shield. There's a shield. Hmm. Tell me about that. If the shield is broken, I die. Can you tell me who you are? Who am I? Mm -hmm. I. Who am I? I am the wind. Mm. I am the spirit. I am love. Mm. and I am nothing. There's a reason for the shield. Mm -hmm. There's a reason for me. Who am I? That's the question all of us have. Mm -hmm. But if you stop to think, you'll come to see you're nothing. And you are everything. Tell me about the shield. The shield is for protection of this earth. Who created the shield? The, and the ancient people. Mm -hmm. Ancient beings, not people, sorry. The ancient beings? Yes. They are here still. They haven't left. Do we know of these ancient beings? No. Do they interact with us? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. How would we know if we're interacting with one of them? They will call you. Hmm. Has Edward interacted with any of these ancient beings? Yes. 
they call his attention once because he was not doing the right job. Ah. Is he able to see them in yes. his dreams? Or? Yes. Mm -hmm. He's his team of green beings. He told me a little bit about Neptune. Was that one of them? No, that's no. a past life. That's a past life, okay. Neptune had to learn a lesson, so he came to this planet as a, as a spirit, and he took a form of a man. Mm -hmm. But they don't want me to tell me too much about it. No. Okay. They are here. They are watching. Hmm. What do they want to tell Edward today? these ancient beings. What message do they have today? Mm. He doesn't need to worry. Everything is in this should be. Everything is as it should be. We needed him to come so we can heal him. He had so much negativity inside of him, mm -hmm. on his belly. Are you healing him now? I have started already right. from the beginning. You brought him from a very long distance to be here. Yes. Why so far? Because of the energy of this place. There's a, a portal where you can transmute energy. Where he is, it's closed. Hmm. It needs healing. And where is this portal here? Hmm. Is this part of the Bermuda Triangle portal? Yes. Mm -hmm. He used to live there before. Mm. Actually, it's not in the ocean, it's in the sky. Really? That's why everything changes. People confuse that area with the ocean, but nothing to do with the ocean. Can you tell, explain that a little bit more? There's a magnetic field that comes from within the Earth. Mm -hmm. projects itself through the water, but actually it's a portal. It's a door. It's like a hole. Mm -hmm. You can cross time there. Many beings come through there and go. But it's not something we need to be worried about. Mm -hmm. Does this portal bring more energy to this area? Mm. No. no, it just maintains it okay. balanced. Okay. But it's a clean area. Okay. That's why it needs to remain that way. Okay. So more healing can occur for him when he comes here? It's just this time. Okay. He knows it. Mm -hmm. We speak with him. We tell him, but sometimes he doubts him. In what way do you speak with him? We 
send him visual images of everything. So what is the visual that you're giving him of his belly? What's happening there? Clearing the negativity, mm -hmm. the darkness. From this lifetime? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are these created by thought forms? No. It's created by smoking. Okay. He can almost, he almost created cancer. What made him stop? He awakened. He felt it was time. So that saved him? Yes. Mm -hmm. He prays a lot. Does that help? But he prays for help all the time. Mm -hmm. But no need. He does the work he knows. Mm -hmm. But it's funny. He's asking for help when he can heal himself. I think a lot of people do that, don't they? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it possible for him to have a life review? No. <laughs> can you tell him why? He doesn't need one. He, wants he to goes make, through it every day. He does. Well, he wants to make more improvements. He knows what he needs to improve. He has consciousness in this lifetime. It's very open. Mm -hmm. Every time he does something out of the plan, he will feel it and he will try to amend. Mm. So what about his karmic debts? He wants to be able to clear those. He has to clear them. It cannot be cleared like that. Mm -hmm. So what, it, what can we do to clear our karmic debts? Best way? Mm -hmm. You forgive yourself first. Mm -hmm. But most people don't know how to do that. How do we do that? You need to have true intention. Mm -hmm. You have to acknowledge that you are responsible for everything that happens to you. You have to acknowledge that. It doesn't matter who you are. Then, you have to really truthfully imagine that you're forgiving your soul and let go. You can do that by writing it down and talking to you, to prayer. They are here. <laughs> well, they seem to be uh, almost tearing my trees down outside. What's going on yeah. with all the, all the wind? What are they trying to tell me? Seems like a mini hurricane just went through. Yeah. It's the portal. <laughs> but I need you to help him on his heart. Okay. Tell, tell me how I can help him. There's a weight mm -hmm. that needs to be lifted. All right. So would you allow me to do that now? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put my hand on his heart. And let's pull out all of that weight that's been holding him down for so many lifetimes. Feel that weight coming out as I send it directly to the universe for healing. And tell me when all of it has been lifted. Pull it out from every cell of your body. Take that out and send it.
send it up into the universe for healing. What would we like to put there instead now that we have that weight gone? Peace. Let's put the peace in there. Feel that peace going in to every cell of your body in this lifetime and every other lifetime in every dimension. Feel it going through every cell. And I'm going to tap your forehead and seal that in. How does it look now? It's lighter, like a chicken's brain. Mm, beautiful. That's very light. Yes. Nice. He had pain from previous life in mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. for not achieving certain things. Mm -hmm. Very good. Does he have any connection to Shiva or Buddha? Yes. Can you tell him about that? He came with them and they are with him mm -hmm. through wisdom through understanding and observation. He was a wind observing Shiva doing meditation. Mm -hmm. And he was impressed by his intelligence and how he would observe everything with so much detail and care and compassion. And he felt love unconditional love because someone was observing him Shiva was observing him do his work as a healer an invisible healer mm. and he was surprised that someone human could observe him mm -hmm. that's how it started was he the wind then? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems that the wind has been observed today. Yes. <laughs> was that was that one of your party tricks to show me yes. how the wind was observed? He can control elements. Ah, that was pretty powerful. That's why he needs to heal his heart to maintain balance. Mm -hmm. He's connected to the elements, his nature. Mm -hmm. That's why Gaia is connecting constantly with him. Mm -hmm. So he, he asked about Shiva and Buddha. Do they have any messages for him today? Keep meditating. Mm -hmm. Keep working. Keep being focused. He knows it. Mm -hmm. And he needs to be more disciplined in yoga. Mm -hmm. It's going to help him, help others. Very good. What he learns, he needs to share, as he has told you. Yes. We can. He can write volumes of what he knows. He doesn't believe in that. Mm. So how can we get his information out to help other people? He doesn't want to be... The same as everyone else. Ah. He needs to find a different approach. He wants it to be pure and honest. Mm -hmm. But he's learning that he needs to open his mind. Yes. It's a beautiful thing. Just our conversation before the session was... Yeah, he already connected with you before he came. <laughs> through Reiki energy. Ah. And that's why you guys dressed in the way you were dressed. <laughs> we look like twins. Yes. Mm -hmm. That was very interesting how that worked out. Are we meant to work together in the future? In any capacity to help other people? You already are. Mm -hmm. Very good. But in the future, if... Mm, they allow. Okay. That'd be great. How can he be more enlightened 
or awaken during the session? Mm, not here. Not here? No. When will this take place? In the coming years. Mm -hmm. Starts next year. Okay. But he needs to clear his body. Awakening takes time. Mm -hmm. He wants everything done quick. Yes. But cannot. Everything has its time. First you clean the body of toxi toxins. Mm -hmm. Then you clear your thoughts and make them pure. That's how things can be manifested. And he knows that. Mm -hmm. There are many people who are awakening now just to this information and they seem to have an urgency that they need to have everything done, the answers now. What would you like to say about that since you've just told me that everything takes time? Because the future and the past and now, it's now. It's all now, it's all happening now. Mm -hmm. There's no tomorrow, there's not yesterday. So when people want to no be need. more... There's no need for that? No. Should people relax more into this experience? People way? need to enjoy and they need to learn from each experience. Mm -hmm. They need to ask themselves. How is this affecting them in we, and in which way? Only when you awaken to that moment, you start awakening little by little. Mm -hmm. And you cherish that special moment. Because if you want to awaken quickly, you will become insane. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot take that level of energy too quickly. Mm -hmm. Nor can your body. And that means either you will die or become insane. Mm. Your cells, if developed too quickly, can make you become fire. Mm. You are not ready. Okay. So little by little. Yes. Allowed to enjoy it. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's all in the path of balance, in the path of the middle. Mm -hmm. Buddha already taught that. It takes time. A lot of people are now talking about the new earth. And he wants to know if he's going to transition onto the new earth. <laughs> he wants to become free. She is already free. Mm. Can you tell me a little bit about the new earth? What's that all about? New Earth is here. It's a dimension. It's love. It's where the light is waiting for you. The big light is waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Do we go to this new Earth at any time during this lifetime? Many of us. Mm -hmm already checking, dreaming about it. Mm -hmm. Many people already dreaming about it. Many people already been there. But it's taking time, it's gonna take time to adjust into this level of energy. Are we going there in these bodies or different bodies? When you go to sleep, mm -hmm. you can go there. Not everyone. Mm -hmm. Because they, they are not ready. They wouldn't be able to cross through the dimension. Okay. Now, when I go to sleep, I'm always greeted beforehand, a fraction of a second before I go to sleep with this very, very bright light, which kind of takes over my whole body. She's observing me. What does that mean? Gaia. Gaia is observing? Yeah. What is she saying? <laughs> Just 
just to say she's here. Okay. Does she have a message for everyone? She is everyone. Mm -hmm. Everyone is here to heal him. Because he's connected to everyone. That's higher consciousness. Mm. My God. Tell me. What are you experiencing? Love. Mm. Thank you. You stopped the wind, too. It will become calmer. <laughs> It's incredible. Why was the wind howling? Howling so much. Because to bring acknowledgement and light and mm -hmm. the golden light. Mm -hmm. And there's a movement in the sky. But the beings came together just for a kind moment. I'd like to thank them for that. Sometimes he thinks he's alone, but he isn't. And when you're greeted before you go to sleep, mm -hmm. made someone from ancient time for you, mm -hmm. someone from your family there with you, has always been with you for a long time. So they're in that light. Yes. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Is Gaia still sending love? Yeah, there's all the other beings watching. Mm -hmm. There'll be an adjustment in terms of uh, weather. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more about that adjustment? Yes. The vibration that it's arriving, it's changing the weather patterns because it needs to for the healing. Everyone is going to see that all over the world. Mm -hmm. There's also the adjustment on the planet and the core to align with the central sun. But as everyone knows. So what do we expect of our weather? It's just adjustment. Mm -hmm. If you send positivity into the sky, it will not hurt you. Okay. So for an example, just a few minutes ago, the wind was... Howling. Howling. That's them acknowledging. Okay, so when we... When we are in a situation where we see the wind howling like that, how should we react? Should we thank them? Should we greet them? No. Just be normal. Just be normal, okay. They're just doing their thing. Yes, because sometimes it's needed. They're taking away things, they're bringing other things. Mm. They're closing doors, they're closing dimensions. Ah, okay. And they are closing doors to certain beings that popped out. Okay. There's a lot going on you cannot see. Mm -hmm. Many beings cannot see, but it's happening really close to you. Mm. And this is a special area. What's special about this area? Because you have some special beings working here. Mm. Because they need to maintain the balance in this side, underneath the water. Okay. Is it on the entire peninsula of Florida? No. No? There's a certain area, but also there's beings playing with dark. Okay. They don't know what they're dealing with, but mm -hmm. because of their sense of desire, they play with dark energy. Mm -hmm. 
But even dark energy doesn't like to be used, so they are foolish. There's always a price. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot going on that we don't know about. Yes. And we don't need to worry about that. Just pray. Just. Well, we don't need to worry, mm -hmm. but some others need to. They do. They do. If you are a being of love and kindness, you don't need to worry. Okay. And when I say by love, I mean unconditional love, mm -hmm. not passionate. Yes. Many people misunderstand that. Mm -hmm. Also means the rain is coming. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, when we started this session, we saw the wind going through the forest. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is the wind one being? One consciousness? One consciousness, not one being. Okay. It has many beings, including him. Mm -hmm. I'm there already, and I'm here. Mm -hmm. Is, are there any hidden talents that Edward isn't using? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell him? He doesn't need to know he's <laughs> using them. He doesn't. So, some of these superpowers that we bring with us, mm. we use them but we just don't know we're using them? Yes, mm. if you were to gain consciousness of it, you could cause harm. Okay. And then he would suffer. Okay. Are there any that he needs to be using that he doesn't need, is using right now? That he is using things gradually. Okay. Will they be opening up more and more? Depends on the higher consciousness of this planet. Okay. Depends on everyone. If there's a red alert, then he will come full exit this body and become then people will see what is wind ah okay by red alert what do you mean means if the world is going in the wrong way okay the wrong path and by wrong i mean when people go only into the darkness mm -hmm. and dark thoughts and fear, then they will face fear. Do we have any concern for that now? No. Okay. There's enough of us on the positive path? There's so many beings right now here. Mm -hmm. And besides, he's a healer. Mm -hmm. He will do everything he can. But only that would only happen if things were really bad and they are not. Okay. Wonderful. Any suggestions to him on relationships? <laughs> relationships. Mm -hmm. seems that a lot of people on the spiritual path are not in relationships. Edward, mm -hmm. he is okay. <laughs> he is fine. He knows why he needs to be the way he is right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. But he is always curious, constantly wanting to know more about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But he already know. Relationships 
are important more than one for him mm-hmm. so he doesn't stay stagnant mm. if he has only one relationship he needs to be with another being similar to him mm-hmm. is he doing some healing in those relationships is that why yes mm-hmm. he has to heal and he needs to forgive himself which he's already started very good what about his job is he okay where he is now yes what about the country <coughs> he needs to be there he does it's safe for him there it is safe spiritually or physically overall overall how long does he need to stay there Four years. For how many? Four? Four years. Okay, good. What about his finances? Are they ever going to improve? Money is not an issue. Mm-hmm. He is okay. And whenever he needs, he shall be provided accordingly. He needs to focus on studying. Mm-hmm. And he needs to focus on being more open and less afraid. Mm-hmm. He keeps protecting himself from everything. Where is that fear coming from? Because he doesn't want to disappoint. Mm. Will he disappoint? No. So what is your recommendation? It's already done. Okay, good. Does he have any other health issues besides that negativity in his belly. I already taken care. Good. Nothing else in his body? Eventually it will come in time, but that's a lesson. Okay. Does he need to know where it is? He will know. Okay. If he heals himself and he does the things accordingly, already started with his food and his changing his diet and he needs to drink water have consumption of fruits during the day eat little before sleep and do more meditation and more yoga he'll be okay and keep the positive feeling the love he has inside Mm -hmm. bring it out and don't feel ashamed sometimes he feels people will laugh at him because he's just being loving and they do but I'm there and I make him feel warm so warm everyone around him feels the same does he emit energy yes Mm -hmm. he can bring peace when people are troubled Mm -hmm. he only wants to help but at times he gets tired Is it tired of the negativity? No. Physically tired? He gets tired because people don't awaken faster. Mm. But as you already said, each person has to awaken at their own time. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
So he he needs to leave that up to yeah. their own higher self. He needs to learn to have more patience. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a hard thing when we live in a world of such fast technology. And he is connected to technology. Mm -hmm. But he needs to learn. He needs to learn a few things in this lifetime too. Mm -hmm. Evolution and gift and how to control gifts. Sometimes you need to learn other things. You have always something to learn. Always. Even those that come to help, they are here to learn. They have a body. They are anchored. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to be here. Hmm. What kind of body do they have? Human body. Really? Okay. Only a few will be connected to animals for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. But all beings that come into this earth, they cannot be seen in a very strange form, otherwise humans would feel scared. Yes. Now these bodies that these beings have, were they born into these bodies? Yes. Okay. And sometimes, sometimes after, when they are a bit older. Mm -hmm. It depends on the purpose of each soul. Do they walk into these bodies? Sometimes, yes. Mm -hmm. So you may come into this body with one soul and then one of these beings takes over in, in the middle? Yes. Okay. But it's just for a certain period of time. Okay. But you can let them go. You already inform people of that before. Mm -hmm. If you feel that you're not being yourself usually, it's because there's an attachment. Mm -hmm. And depending on how you behave, but anyway, you can just say, whomever is within your body that is not meant to be there, get out. And will they listen? They have to. They cannot remain within. Okay. So it's really within our own pot and body yes. to do that. You can also do another thing. You can light up a candle mm -hmm. for the being that just left. So you can illuminate the path of that being with love, light and peace. And be kind. Mm -hmm. Because remember, we are all one. What do you do with, with those souls that are attached to your home? You can ask them to leave too. Mm -hmm. You clear your space with incense mm -hmm. and salt, sea salt. Mm -hmm. And flowers. And flowers. Yes. Because these beings, they attach themselves to plants, not mm. plants, sorry, to flowers. Mm. They are a symbol of vanity. Ah. And also because they have the light of the sun impregnated into them. So they need that air level of energy because it's pure. So they consume it. Mm. That's why you will see if there's bad energy, the flowers will die quickly. Ah. But if they live longer, it means the energy is positive. Wonderful. So, that's the thing. <coughs> Another thing also, you can have amethysts or quartz, white quartz. And you can have them underneath your bed and the stones can help you clear but don't have the stones close to your body when you sleep otherwise you cannot sleep it awakens your pineal gland while you sleep yes mm, you don't want that yes because you can see more things that you can bear and you can feel scared okay 
Now before we had our session, I pulled out my quartz from underneath the bed where I do my sessions and Edward was able to communicate with these quartz. Why were they so dim and sad? Because they were in the dark. Mm. And you have many people laying down in this bed. Mm -hmm. And some of the beings, they get attached to things. Mm -hmm. And because sometimes you forget to give love to mm -hmm. the stone. Mm -hmm. So we need, to heal. we need to take those stones out into the sun. Yes, and everything is alive. And take and talk to them. Yes. Okay. The sun will clear this the crystal mm -hmm. because it's love. Okay. It's what I said in the beginning. Mm -hmm. First is the inspiration. Then the rocks come together with electricity, create a magnetic field and then the fire. Then the wind. And then I arrive. Wonderful. Thank you so much for that. So now he wants to know if there is a message from God. Expansion, expand, expand. I'm always here. God need us to know. That he lives in everyone, in everything. He's everywhere in each breath you take everywhere you go, everywhere you sit, everywhere you walk, everywhere you swim everywhere you are and that every time you disconnect you become sad mm -hmm. every time you disconnect from the light, your life has no meaning, you become lost. So all of those people who are feeling sad and depressed, it's because they've disconnected? Some, yes. Some, because they're being adjusted. Mm. Is it's that why? One of the reasons why the body needs to heal. So what do you say to all those people who are right now going through so much depression, feeling so lost? Try your best to get connected with other people. People that are positive, that are happy, be around nature. Do meditation. If you feel you're sad, 
do something. If you feel you're depressed, do something. Walk, move, change, make a difference for you. Don't remain in one place thinking about the same thing. It's always about movement when you're depressed. It's the healing. When you're depressed, it's because you are in a place or doing something you shouldn't be doing. It's a wake-up call. But everyone gets healed afterwards. They do. They do. So there's hope. There's always hope. Mm -hmm. If not in this lifetime, in another one. This is an infinite ride. Can you tell me a little bit about how human beings are influenced by the solar system? It seems to be very moody. Why is it that Mars and Saturn always seem to be influencing people in the worst way? They don't influence in the worst way. <laughs> okay. Can you explain? Like us, we are influenced by circumstance and energies around us. Mm -hmm. So are the planets. Mm. And the vibration they emanate will come to us. Because there's other forces outside of this planet, outside of this galaxy, cause and effect, circumstance, it's what it is. It's just normal. But this bodies, celestial bodies, they shield a lot. So if we feel some sort of energy or moodiness, it's a tiny fraction of what these planets feel. Mm. So they're feeling it much bigger. Yes. Mm -hmm. Each planet, they have a certain connection with us because they live within us. They represent the nine chakras within our body. Okay. And they fuel a specific energy. They're all connected. So when Edward is doing an astrological chart on someone, and he sees Saturn and Mars, what is he being? He needs to see this galaxy as a person sitting down doing a meditation, and then he will see the chakras. Mm -hmm. That's why the sun, it's the crown. Okay. Do you have any other information to give him about the, the planets? Each planet represents a specific point in one's body, mm -hmm. in this solar system. Are they in the same... Um, places uh, around the sun, as in our chakras? Yes, similar distances. Okay. But they move differently. Hmm. That's why our body moves differently. Even the planet shows exactly the influence that it goes through. We are like the planet. The planet is like us. And you can see it. You can feel it if you stop to do meditation. Mm -hmm. Why Mercury is where it is, and why is the planet of messages and information and thoughts, because it's connected to the brain. So, if you have the crown above your head, which is the sun, Mercury will be the brain, another chakra. Mm -hmm. Then you have Venus, the morning star at the moment, the planet of love, selected by the eternal light.
to be the third eye. Which ones are the other ones? Where are the other planets located? Earth is the throat chakra. Hands being blue, turquoise. Then you have the fire one being the heart, Mars. The colors say everything about each planet. Mm. And then you have the deeper roots. You have the sacral, the solar, the sacral. Each planet is connected to our body. That's why the healing is important. Mm -hmm. Which planet is the sacral? Jupiter. Mm -hmm. It's the one that brings happiness. Is Jupiter a happy planet? It's a planet of electricity. Ah. It's a special planet. Because it behaves like a child. Does it? Hmm. In what way? Because it doesn't want boundaries, but it understands responsibility. Mm. And so it is for the sacral. The solar, not sacral, sorry. Mm -hmm. The sacral. Saturn. Saturn. Saturn is a sacral? Yes. Mm -hmm. So Jupiter was the solar. Mm. Mm -hmm. What is the sacral? Sacral is connected to karma. It's connected to previous lives. Now he knows. Saturn is not against him. What is Saturn telling him? Now he knows. It's what it needs to be. It's the payoff. Mm. Does he have any blockages in that? Chakra? I've been working on it. Thank you. I've been clearing. Now he knows where Saturn came from. What's the next one? Uranus. How do they affect? They affect your root chakra. Mm -hmm. Both of them? Yeah. So they're together? Yes. Mm -hmm. What are the personalities of those? Birth hmm. and death. Okay. And creation in a small scale. Electricity also. So what happens when that chakra is blocked? Creates dampness, hmm. sadness. It creates negativity. That's, That's what's why come. it's important to know what to eat. Uh -huh. 
Will the food create negativity in us? The wrong food. Hmm. Is it always the wrong food for everyone? Or no, do... everyone is different in mm -hmm. a way. Mm -hmm. So you can't just say, eat this, everyone. Everybody's yes. different. Uh, vegetables normally are okay for everyone. Mm -hmm. Unless there's a condition. But that condition would come because of previous life. I see. But normally vegetables helps heal. The sooner you heal, the sooner you become free. What about fruits? Fruits also helps. But you need to know what to eat at what time. Mm. Can they cause damage? Yes. Not all fruits are good to eat at lunch. Not fruits. Not all fruits are good to eat dinner. You need to know what's the right colors, the right ingredients. Is there a way that nature has given us that formula? Yes. How is that? What is the formula? Instinct. Instinct, okay. So we just need to know. Don't eat this at this time. Yes. Mm -hmm. And drink water. Drink water. Drink a lot of water. Water helps heal the liver and the kidneys. Mm -hmm. Vitamin C, it's beyond important. Before this session, we were talking about pineapple. Mm. What's the magic of pineapple? It has a specific type of acid mm -hmm. that helps clean the brain. And it helps the solar chakra. I see. But it can be too acid for the belly, for the stomach. Hmm. So we can't overdo it? Yes. Okay, like anything. But it's um, good for your health. Okay, good. And eat small quantities. People need to learn to eat small quantities. We don't do a very good job of that in this country. Everywhere. Mm. Because when you eat too much food, you're connecting that to your emotional. Mm. It means that something feels missing or something needs to be filled. But there's nothing missing. Okay. So smaller quantities for sure. Yes. People need to get out, move more in a healthy way in parks, in nature, with nature. Take a moment, take a deep breath. Be together with everyone. And accept what it is. Very good, thank you. Is there a cure for HIV? Yes. What's going on with that? It's being adjusted. It has been... It has been controlled. Mm. Will that there be a cure for HIV? It already exists. Mm -hmm. Will it be sent out to the people that need it? It's being controlled. Mm -hmm. How can we, as a population, help alleviate this control or remove it? Compl we need to bring more awareness. How people, can we do? How can we do that? People need to come together and ask for it. But people come and go, and they forget. Who should they be asking for this cure? It's 
to the institutions that are governing their cities, mm -hmm. to the institutions that run countries, to the people that they give power to, because they know. It's all being controlled. So those with HIV or families of those with HIV should be more open and vocal about demanding the cure be released? Yes. Okay, good. Can we request for assistance? And uh, people need to bring more information about HIV to young people. Mm -hmm. Many, many are not being careful because they don't care. Mm. So as soon as a... It's dangerous. As soon as a child is sexually active... Yes. They need to be told about, about yes. this. Yes. Mm -hmm. The information cannot come and go. It has to be present mm -hmm. because it makes beings feel a lot of pain and shame and guilt mm -hmm. and that's illusion they feel the pain that brings fear is there any way that you can spiritually heal these people I can and I am with them. So we can ask for all of those that have HIV mm. to receive this healing? Yes. Thank you. Can you emit the energy so that it will be recorded and whoever listens or watches this can receive this healing? To all of you that are listening, close your eyes, open your heart, and focus on the healing green light to spread through all of your body Thank you very much. That healing that you just transmitted, is, is it for any type of healing? It helps heal spiritually these beings that are affected with fear. 
Thank you. With pain, with shame, with guilt. Some of them, most of them, have been infected unfairly. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much for all that. The purple light is here. What does the purple light do? Healing. It will continue the work we just started on those beings. It's a crystal light. It's a crystal light. What is it? My hands are boiling. Mm. What is the significance of that heat? The healing. Mm -hmm. Is the energy coming out of the hands? My whole body is... Do you need to be uncovered? It's okay. Okay. It's done. Thank you very much. Edward had one final question or request, and that is to assist all of those trapped souls that have been here from so long. How can we help them? He can't do it alone. He has to do it with everyone. Mm -hmm. How can we help them? Prayer. Prayer. Light a candle. Put your intention. Our brain has the ability to light the same as the sun. So when you pray, when you put the candle to illuminate another, you are illuminating yourself. And when that happens, your whole body becomes bright. And you can help other beings through love. Thank you for that. Is there anything else that I haven't asked that you would like to tell Edward today? No, it's all okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do you have any message for anybody else? Yes. For everyone to pray more. When you pray, you set an intention. When you set an intention, you must visualize what you want in a positive way. 
in a way that is not about desire, that it's about giving away. Whatever you do that is for the good of all, it means the good for you. When you work together with another, your energy rises and you are happy. Is that all today? Thank you, Alba, for helping. Thank you for bringing him from so far away. Distance doesn't matter. We are all good. Wide awake, feeling wonderful, all over. Welcome back. Well, I'm thirsty. You're thirsty? Want some water? How long do you feel you are on this journey? I don't know. One hour. Two hours. Two hours? Mm-hmm. I just know it feels good. You, you feel good? How does your belly feel? Like a washing machine, something happened. What about your heart? I'm light. I feel light. Do you I remember? I feel like there was a hole. Uh huh. Do you remember anything of this? I, I remember some things. The wind. Mm hmm. What do you remember about the wind? I'm like the wind. Mm hmm. I remember small things, but I I remember the wind, and I remember the green people. The green me. people? Mm-hmm. They are helping me. So many people came. To the session? Yes. I felt love. I felt I don't need to worry so much. Mm -mm, no worries. Did you hear the wind outside? Yes. <laughs> there was like a little mini hurricane out there. I remember the purple light mm -hmm. came. I was outside of the body. Mm -hmm. So nice, but I'm still feeling the the light. That's it's good. warm. What an experience, huh? I also mm. Saturn is not enemy. <laughs> I thought <laughs> you learned quite a bit mm. there, huh? Mm. What a lesson. I didn't know the planets were connected to to our body no. and the influence. We got quite a lesson today. Each planet is connected to a different chakra. Yes. Interesting. I feel my whole... Uh, there's a movement going on inside of my body. Mm-hmm. It's all going around. Do you want to share this session? Did I say anything strange? <laughs> no. So. Well, strange to some people listening to this, maybe. It was amazing. Well, I don't think... Yeah, if it's okay, if it's something positive, why oh, yeah. not? <sighs> Let it ride. Wow. So this was... I don't even have words for this one either. This was... I hope that's a good message. What an education. This is, was, oh yeah, this is, I mean, we, we hit like every topic. The, the craziest part for me was, was the, the beings outside. 
causing so much havoc. Yeah. Um, that was amazing. <laughs> because, you know, I realize I'm not alone. I realize I have a big team. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> Your wind team is really big. Yeah. <laughs> they were like slapping the, the, uh, yeah. the palm trees and howling out yeah. there. It's like they come uh, like protection. It's amazing. You know? Because, uh, yeah, that was so strange, actually. Yeah. And I'm still vibrating. I am. I'm, I'm vibrating. I don't know if you're vibrating, but I'm vibrating. My head and uh, my body, I'm uh, still, you know, adjusting. adjusting. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I'm adjusting. I'm adjusting. So tell everybody out there, first of all, where did you come from to be here? Well... Where do you live? <laughs> in Shanghai. <laughs> tell them, tell them so they can... I came from the other side of the world. From Shanghai, yeah, I China. From Shanghai, China, yeah. I live in China at the moment. Um, yeah, took me a while to get here because I had Shanghai, LA, Orlando, then Miami. So tell them why you came. What I, was the reason? The reason why I came here was because I wanted to... The main reason I came here was because how can I help in a way to help people that have HIV? Because mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of people that are going through this situation, that go through a lot of pain and misery mm -hmm. and trouble. And how can we bring this to awareness? And is there, is there any cure? Can we help? Mm -hmm. Is there any way we can do something? Because there's a lot of people, especially young, young people, more and more and more going through the situation mm -hmm. that they don't need to go through, you know. And if this is an information, we need to do even more mm -hmm. because, you know, this is spreading a lot. Mm -hmm. And there's too many young people dying because of this and should not be happening in our right. days. Right. You know, and also because there's so many parents that um, disown their children because they discover they are, you know, in one way or another. Mm -hmm or living their lives the way they want to live and then suddenly they, they catch HIV and then they say okay bye bye yeah they disown you know? the children so it's sad because there's no need for that mm -hmm. you know and because I do healing sometimes with Reiki and I see people going through so many troubles and if I could have a way to just help these people and stop this kind of thing so they can move towards their better self mm -hmm. then that would be something positive and we had a great healing today did we? Yes, we did. <laughs> yes, we did. We had a transmission of a healing, which was amazing. It was a green light healing. Green light. Mm -hmm. And then green later, light, yeah. the purple light came. That's the, the green chakra. So there was a, a time there where whatever the healing was, was being transmitted to the viewers. <laughs> You'll have to watch. Because <laughs> you don't remember any oh. of this, right? It was amazing. Okay. It was really amazing. I mean, we didn't go through past lives. You weren't here for that. Mm. You were here basically to be shown you are the wind. You started off as the wind. You, it, well, it, the wind came. And the wind came. The wind came. It's totally <laughs> like there's nothing out there anymore. It's like they all left. Yeah. There is a portal in this yeah. area. That's why you had to come to this area. Um, because apparently where you are, it's shut. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of information in this. Um, you know what you need to do and uh, you need to balance people. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting because there was a moment I felt I'm just relaxing, taking it easy. I'm, I feel I'm still shaking <laughs> inside, actually. <laughs> but I felt uh, at the same time I'm here, but I'm not here. It's a weird yeah. uh, sensation. Yeah. But it's I, I'm aware. So tell everybody what you felt in hypnosis what I felt. Yeah. What was it like? I'm at peace. I'm comfortable. Mm -hmm. I am aware that I'm here. Mm -hmm. I don't feel uh, uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, I do feel a rush in the beginning. There was a sensation of rush inside mm -hmm. of me, but it's a rush that comes together with I'm okay. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, I was, uh, I thought I was going to freak out actually. <laughs> I thought this is going to be a spooky thing, but actually I was okay. I was okay. Uh, and I've seen a couple of your videos. I mean, a lot of your videos, actually. <laughs> You've been, been watching, yeah. haven't you? <laughs> and I thought, okay, this seems to be easy. But yeah. for some reason, I was still freaking out. And then I went through the whole thing, and I just felt the rush, and I said, okay, I'm okay. No problem. 
So, mm -hmm. and you did very well. But the sensation is, it's like uh, there's me at the back, and then there's the other thing. Yes. That it's like opens, and then I can see. It's like a window that opens. It's uh, interesting. It's interesting. And then there's a, a thing here. Really? It feels like it's uh, a connection. Connected. Yeah. So, were you? What were you connected to? What uh, do you feel that you were connected to? Was bright. I just felt I was connected to something very bright. Mm -hmm. And it felt okay, it felt natural. It didn't felt intrusive in any mm -hmm. possible way. That's when I felt the a shake on my whole body, then, then the washing machine in my stomach. <laughs> they felt... were working on you the whole time. Yeah. That's why I didn't request any body scan or anything, because they were doing that yeah. on their own. Yeah. It's I like... felt, yeah, the warmth coming and going. Mm, the Just, whole time? Uh, yes. yes. So it's almost like you were brought here. I didn't even ask to ask. They were already doing all of this. And they also, um, whoever it was that was talking, or they, uh, were also about spirit attachments. How to ask for the spirits to leave. And there was a, a certain technique that they... They can do. Well, they, you can do it yourself. I don't need to see this video. <laughs> you do need to see this video. And then you light a candle to illuminate them. Yeah, it's really, it was a beautiful session. I do that, actually, from time to time. So. Well, that's that's... What Especially when I heard about, you know, the attempts uh, happening here and there across the world. I put candles. I mm -hmm. do that. That's one of the things. But you're always connected. Oh. That's why you're getting, you're being told this stuff yeah. all the time. Because what happened is, I just imagine I'm seeing something and suddenly I have this image and yeah. a feeling to do. Right. And then I just. That's go. how they communicate with you. Okay. Well. Interesting. I touched a little bit on Neptune, but they didn't want to go there. I yeah. was like, no. Uh, on the uh, on the question I asked because of the the dream I had when I was younger. Yeah, I they didn't want to go oh. there. You know, it's just like no, we're not we're not here for this purpose today. Yeah. It's almost like they brought you here for this healing, especially from smoking for so long. Mm -hmm. They we really needed to clean up. Yeah, because actually I feel like there's uh, small needles on my, across my excuse me my lungs, <laughs> and it felt like something someone was you know just cleaning. scraping it. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. So, do you recommend this to other people? Absolutely, absolutely. The experience, the opportunity. If if anything, for just for the experience of feeling like I'm feeling right now, which is a little bit shaky, shaky within, <laughs> but it's a good feeling. <laughs> you know? I'm feeling the shaky, shaky. So. Because it feels like a uh, vibration. I'm, I'm feeling the vibration myself. Yeah. So you can see that, even though your body is here, my body is here. We're feeling the same thing. I'm getting the yeah. rushing too. Because I was feeling up, 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 and now it's here in this area on the belly too. But it feels like there's something like this, but also rotating at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's quite interesting. I think that was part of the healing because I did see a vortex. Yes. When when they were doing the healing, mm -hmm. even though there was no talking, I was seeing some sort of a vortex going through. Okay. And my and for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for me is the same. Because I'm here and I feel like there's something rotating. Isn't that amazing? Uh, yeah, still, still. Great. And I, uh, how do you say, I'm talking to you, but I'm aware of something else. It's like I'm still connected to something. <laughs> you will still be connected for a while. Yeah. That's what happens here. Even though you're out of hypnosis, but now yeah. you're wide open. So for the next... I feel like I have tubes, sorry. You have, have tubes? tubes. <laughs> 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 oh, this is not speaking. Good thing we can't see these tubes. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So if you want a session with me, you can go to my website, albawyman.com. It's very easy to sign up. Um, I am booked way, way in advance, however, so you will have to be, you have to be uh, very patient for your session. And I do travel all over the place. So if you would like to see where I'm going to next, uh, just sign up for my newsletter. It, you can do that in my out of town page. And we were talking uh, before this session that uh, hopefully I will be able to get to travel more. Yeah, hopefully Shanghai. Yeah, maybe Shanghai. So if, you, if you're out in Shanghai, maybe I'll come see you. So we're going to be doing more of that. Um, mm -hmm. And I'll be putting out my newsletter as to where I'm going to. So until the next time, thank you for watching. This was a really, really good one. Thank you. Bye. Come over here. Thank you. <laughs>